What's going on guys, my name's Chris, and today I want to talk about an aquarium fish known as the Fahaka Puffer. That's really crazy to say. Say that three times fast. Fahaka Puffer, Fahaka Puffer. Uh, anyways, today I want to talk about tank mates and other fish that can be kept with the Fahaka Puffer. Because this is kind of a crazy fish that there's not a lot of ideas to keep tank mates or other fish inside the tank with this guy. So not too long ago, I worked with a other fish YouTuber, and we teamed up together to create a video completely devoted to taking care of the Fahaka a puffer and while we were doing that we talked a lot about the idea of keeping other fish with a fahaka puffer uh the fahaka needs a lot of space so it almost seems like a waste just to have only the fahaka puffer in the aquarium you know what i mean this is a six foot long aquarium right here and it kind of sucks that uh you know a single species tank has to just take up all that it's just like I want more fish, right? You want mid swimmer fish, you want dither fish, just anything, right? And we we're going back and forth on talking about the different variables that these fish would need to be able to stay alive with this crazy Fahaka puffer. So we sort of came up with two different categories of tank mates or other fish that you could keep with a Fahaka. The first category is going to be small fish. These are essentially fish that the Fahaka doesn't even see as a meal because the fish is so small. Maybe live bears, molly fish, guppy fish, platy, swords. Uh, it's endless as far as live bears. But the question is, will some of them still get eaten? I think the answer is yes or maybe. But the thing with live bears is they're constantly giving birth and the cool thing about that is if you lose one or two of them, hopefully you have babies to kind of like uh, not feel as bad about. I guess it happens if it happens, but this is a category of fish that you could keep with the Fahaka. The first category is small fish like we talked about. So the second category is going to be large fish. So the second category is a little more complicated. So we want to keep bigger fish with a Fahaka puffer. Um, these big fish actually need some personality traits. Like I would say, uh, it almost has to be like a dither fish or it just, it, and it needs to be like keep to itself because if it bugs the puffer fish at all, it's going to get murked and killed. Um, what other variables here? Uh, maybe like a fish that just, uh, a barb. I'm thinking a barb is going to be one of the best choices. Um, tiger barbs, tin foil barbs. Uh, actually, a tin foil barb is probably the best choice because they get pretty big. They keep to themselves. They're so they're always moving and that they don't ever stop. And it almost seems like it would become exhausting for the Fahaka puffer to try to like keep up with. One more fish comes to mind when thinking about tank mates for a Fahaka. Silver dollar fish. I feel like silver dollars can be the perfect dither fish slash tank mate for almost any setup. And here's my advice though. Don't do one or two of them. I would do like 10 of them because when silver dollars are in a school, they're a lot more confident. The fish just do better in schools. Well guys, this was a little complicated, but I figured out that we could do some fish with them. So we talked about live bears. We talked about the tinfoil barbs. We talked about the silver dollar fish. I feel like those are good fish to keep with the Fajaca. So let me know in the comments section. Are you going to think about this? Are you going to trial one of these fish? Do you possibly have maybe another idea of another fish we could use?